Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, a little late. But better late than never, I always say. And what we're doing today is we're on Call of the Wild on PS4. And as I turn around, we finally, finally got the Sasika Trophy Lodge on PS4. And I gotta tell you guys, it's pretty damn spectacular. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I know some people may have had mixed feelings about getting a trophy lodge and maybe having to pay another three ninety nine for another trophy lodge, but this is a really cool lodge, I gotta say. And before I go in, I'm going to say that um, all of my African trophies that I had from my last lodge are in here, and that's it. That's all I've put in here so far. Um, well, I have put a couple other that I've that I've hunted that uh, maybe we'll see in this video. But let's go in, shall we? Look at that. They got the fans going because, whew, you know it's hot in here in Africa. Got those statues that we've seen on Layton. I do have some guns placed because I just think that's really cool. I really like how you can display the weapons in those pictures. If we only had a photo mode and we could put our own pictures in here on the walls, that would be just amazing. So this is the main room. And we got a little bar area over here with a pool table. How cool would it be if you could really play pool on this, but... Ah, well, I guess that's asking for a little too much. Right here, we got a couple lion with a kudu in the middle. Unfortunately, I don't have any diamond kudu. Do have a couple diamonds in here, though, my African diamonds. So, let's take a look at the actual plaques and mounts. I mean, there's no shortage of plaques in this place. I mean, weapons go on these things here, and they are everywhere. Plaques everywhere. Stands everywhere. It's just crazy. <clears throat> Pardon me. So you go into here, I mean, look at just look at it's insane plaques everywhere. So I got these two guys. These are my two biggest spring buck yet. Take a look at them. 906, 937. Still trying to get my diamond in them. All right, so moving on. We got my albino wildebeest in here. Y'all seen that already? And this is a gold that I just got recently. He's a good size one, 922. He's the biggest gold I've gotten yet, so I was pretty pleased with that. And again, if you just look, man, I mean, look at—they're everywhere. I mean, you could just put animals everywhere. Guns, weapons, ugh, you name it. I mean, I feel this is what the first lodge should have been anyway. But, you know what? Let's not go there. This is like dining area. I mean, geez, look at it. It's just... This is, I mean, this isn't even a lodge, really. This is more like a, maybe a clubhouse or, or something. I don't know. Let's see. We got this room here, just getting full of plaques and put weapons up. Put weapons on these things here. As you can see, you can go through. Let's see if we can put something up here. There we go, and... L1, R1, you could change the direction of it. Heck, I'll leave that there, but yeah. Very cool. You got another room over here. This is another one. This is a big weapons room right here. I mean, this is going to be like the granddaddy of weapons rooms. You got stands for your bows and stuff. Alright, so this is a room I got filled up a little bit. This is more my trophies that I got. 
a couple of wildebeest and cave buffalo. Again, nothing really spectacular, but see, I got my bows set up there. This guy, this brown cave buffalo I got, he was the biggest one I've seen, a male, scoring 807. That's the biggest red I've ever seen. Uh, we just got a couple lines here that just was pretty cool looking. I just wanted to kind of show that off a little bit. Uh, that's my Diamond Gemsbach 960. And we have some Springbok and Warthogs and Gemsbach up there. Another Diamond. And uh, I'm not going to show you that that one over there. I think you've probably already seen it, but I want to save that for later on. But yeah, so this is the lodge, and it is just crazy huge. I mean, it's going to be fun trying to fill this lodge. Bedroom. Got some wine in the bedroom there. Go out here, you got this nice sitting area with a fire pit. Very nice. Back in through here and go out. Where do I want to go? Can I go through here? No. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. We gotta go in through the dining area. No. How the hell do you get out there? Oh. Wait. Okay. <laughs> ah, here we go. Got this here. You can't go in the pool, but that's okay because there's like grass growing in this pool anyway. I mean, they really should try to clean this pool some. But anyway, that's it. That's the, uh, that's just the Secret Trophy Lodge. And, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. This is a lot better than the high tech hunting pack that we had to wait for. This is something that I was hyped for, and the hype didn't go away. And, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Um, so, the next big news that everybody knows about, uh, December 10th, we're getting a very new reserve in Spain. It's on the Iberian Peninsula. Um, I forget the name of the, uh, the map, but a lot of really cool animals in there. Um, what do we have? We have, oh, like four different species of... Uh, Spanish Ibex. We got the Mouflon, which I am really excited about uh, the Mouflon. I'm going to be honest with you. Those things looked amazing in the live stream. I cannot wait to get some of those in the trophy lodge. Let's just have a little sit down right here and have a little chat. Um, we have a new Siberian Wolf, which they look pretty cool. They actually made them look different than the Grey Wolves, which uh, I can appreciate. Um, we're going to have European hares, which that's a new species to this game. Um, they are going to bring back the wild boar, the red deer, and the roe deer also for the map. Um, the one thing I was curious about, though, is that, and I love red deer, so don't get me wrong, but they do have a subspecies of red deer called Iberian red deer. And they do look a little different, and it seems kind of odd to me that they went through the trouble to put in an Iberian wolf. And not put in an Iberian Red Deer, but I mean, it's all good. Now, we're not getting true racks with the Red Deer just yet. They said that there's a lot of work that has to go into them, obviously. I mean, they got to get those things looking just right. We want them looking perfect. Um, but all of the horn species on the map are going to have true horns. And I got to tell you, they look really awesome because they already showed in the live stream like. Uh, one one horn was like mis misshapen the other one like had like a really drastic curl to it where the other one didn't so that's gonna be really interesting to get in and see all those species um, with those new horns and I mean yeah I'm pretty happy about hunting red deer on a new map anyway I haven't got my legacy diamond yet so that's yet another map that maybe I can get one on uh, who knows there's another new gun going to be with that map. It's like a 6.5 uh, Creedmoor or something like that. There's going to be like three different skins. One that you get by unlocking in missions. And 
uh, all of your like big time streamers like Zaggy and Flinner and uh, you know I, I don't know who else um, they're actually going to get to test the new map tomorrow they're going to get it tomorrow at 6 p.m. Um, I'm not sure if that's EW's time or I'm not sure what time that, I'm, I'm sure that's going to be probably um, EW's time wherever they are in, in uh, Germany or Switzerland or Sweden Sweden I think they're in Sweden yeah so six o'clock their time I'm sure that uh, Zaggy and Flinner and them guys they're gonna get it and they can pretty much stream all weekend they can stream it they can put videos up on it so we should be seeing a lot of content for that now they did say that it should be released on all platforms all platforms on December 10th uh, you know, I'm going to cross my fingers, but I'm definitely not going to hold my breath, guys, because, you know, us console gamers, we all, we've all been burned plenty of times, you know, so, yeah, I'm not going to get my hopes up about it, but, you know, if it does, it's going to be great, and I'm really excited about it. I can't, I can't wait uh, to get my hands on the new map. So... With that being said, I have a little bit of other news to talk about, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I need to talk about it here. I think we're. Uh, I think we're gonna go talk about that somewhere else. So just give me a minute, guys, and we'll be somewhere a little bit more appropriate. Whew! It was a long trip from Africa, but here we are back on the farm. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's been absolutely ages since we've been on Farming Simulator 19, but here we are, everyone. We're back on the farm, and why am I here, you ask? Well, I'll tell you why I'm here. Um, first of all, Seasons is in testing for consoles right now as we speak. Um, you know, hopefully, maybe, fingers crossed, maybe if we're all really good and... Santa's in a good mood. Uh, we'll get seasons this month. Um, I, I mean, I'm probably thinking maybe more like January, just for the simple fact that this new iteration of seasons has a ton of stuff. I mean, it's just literally just got so much stuff that, you know, they didn't have in FS17. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, now, Another thing that I'm really excited about is that uh, for Christmas this year, I am getting the Logitech G29 steering wheel. Um, and guys, I gotta tell you, this is something that I've been wanting for such a long time. Um, they are just so expensive, but uh, this year I've, I've been able to, I don't know, be a good boy or something and uh yeah so that's should be coming monday actually monday the 9th so that's gonna bring just a whole different depth and enjoyability to not only farming simulator but um to the racing games uh mud runner bus simulator man i can't wait to get on bus simulator with that steering wheel man with the uh the force feedback that is going to be so awesome so fun uh i can't wait and of course i'm going to bring you all on that ride uh now i know i've said in the past about putting some racing stuff on the channel and quite honestly i've been playing uh f1 2018 quite a bit lately but it's just every time i go to record just everything goes so wrong so, I'm still trying to work out the kinks, figuring out how to even do that. It's still something I want to do, but, um, yeah, it's just something I gotta, I gotta figure, I gotta figure out because those videos are so much different than, say, doing Call of the Wild or even Farming Simulator where it's a lot of talking and it's like narrative and stuff like that but with racing it's not quite so much like that um but yeah so we're gonna 
dive back in the Farming Simulator 2, I believe, because I really do enjoy this game. It's such a chill and relaxed game, and I really did enjoy making those videos. Um, I really hope Seasons comes out soon because I just enjoy this game so much more with Seasons than without it. You know, and I mean, I know a lot of people don't care for Seasons, but man, I just think it adds such a different a different level to the game you know um, and then with the steering wheel that's gonna make things just even more over the top I believe um, so yeah I'm really excited about it and I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately it's the holidays and just a lot of things have been going on um, ah, my grass feels looking pretty damn good right there uh, yeah a lot of things have been going on just been real busy but, you know, I'm, I'm going to get back into it. Uh, I think that with the release of the new map for Call of the Wild, there's going to be a lot of Call of the Wild content coming, a lot of hunting on the map, a lot of trying to fill up that new lodge. Um, we're going to get some Farming Simulator back on the channel. We're definitely going to get Bus Simulator back on the channel. You know, um, I've been holding off because I kind of knew about the wheel that I was going to be getting it. And... I've been kind of holding off because I really want to wait till I get the wheel to play those. And again, I still really want to put some kind of content for F1 um, on the channel as well. Um, I'm just going to have to figure that out, get that straight out a little more. Because honestly, I suck at that game, guys. Like, I'm really not that great of a racer at it. And, I, and there's so much you have to figure out. Um, if I bump the AI down too low then I'm just winning too easy and I don't like that. And then if I bump it up too high, I, I can't even I, I can't even finish a race. So uh so yeah, something's gotta get ironed out, but we're definitely gonna be getting more bus simulator. We're definitely gonna start putting farming simulator back on the channel. And we're definitely gonna be exploring that new map on Call of Wild when it comes out. So with that, I think I'm gonna end the video guys. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I hope everybody's had a great holiday. I hope your upcoming holidays are going to be great. If you're not watching me um, the rest of this month, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and a really kick-ass New Year. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, guys. I need to I need to go get some farming done. This farm's just been neglected for too long. 